answer is bring them on. Do you think your comments when you said bring it on actually incited more violence in Iraq? No. Morris Jones live on Capitol Hill battling the elements for us this morning. Good morning <laughs> to you, Morris. Hey, good morning, guys. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, big voter turnout yesterday. Luckily, here in Washington, it was dry weather. I don't know if it's rain today or if these are the tears of the Republicans, but in any event, <laughs> as you mentioned, I lost my home. People are losing their homes, and mortgage companies are not throwing them a lifeline. Countrywide, the nation's largest home loan lender is being accused of predatory practices. They want you to sit there and they want you to tell your story over and over and again. Hard times, adjustable rate mortgages that are nearing 15 percent. Whatever the problem, some homeowners are losing out on the American dream. While the big news on Wall Street is a bailout for their mortgage company. There are some 500 international marriage brokers, most with websites. Female clients often live in countries where they outnumber the men. I were looking for a family in that time. Lana thought an international marriage broker could find her prince charming. When the guy meets someone he likes, and if everyone's agreeable, a three-month fiancé visa is arranged. Lana married the man who brought her to America. She says she was later subjected to sexual and mental abuse. Didn't he say something to the effect that you're the most expensive toy I've ever owned. Yes, he said it was a very expensive toy for him. And um, basically, he was saying, I brought you here, and I'll put you back um, to return me back to Russia if he does like the way it goes. Lana is now divorced, still in America. She got help from the Tahereh Justice Center outside of Washington, D.C. Are women naive? Are there predators out there? What's going on? The way they operate, the way they market women as docile and submissive, the way the men pay a great deal of money for what they view as being uh, now a property of theirs, all gives rise to predatory abusers using them to find their next victims. How does this differ from the Match.coms of the world? They are quite unapologetically and overtly on their websites selling women. Congress now wants to rein in the abuse of 90-day fiancé visas, which some say are nothing more than three-month sex tryouts. A proposed bill would also require criminal background checks with the information shared between the dating service applicants. I'm Morris Jones, News Central. Flight attendants, parking attendants, bridal attendants. By definition, they're helping you, unlike automated attendants, which annoy you. I'm Caitlin, XM's automated attendant. When you hear your option, you can say it. It's okay if you interrupt me. Yes, do interrupt. Sometimes if you say agent or operator, you'll get closer to a real person. Other people won't wait. So the first thing is I try zero or zero pound or pound zero or zero star, just anything to try to interrupt it. Many times that will put you direct to cue to a human if you don't want to sit there and punch buttons all day. Thank you for calling Pepco. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls, which may result in a longer wait time. Businesses are saving time and money by outsourcing. American companies are expected to send one and a half million U.S.-based call center jobs to other countries, according to the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines. Many times the people who are answering the phone may be fluent in English, but they don't understand the nuances of our life over here. Even if you get a person, you don't have a person in the company in the place where you think you're calling. For example, I called about my XM radio account and became a world traveler without leaving the office. Where are you? Um, we're located in Manila, sir. Oh, you're in Manila? Yes, sir. Oh, great. How's the weather in Manila today? It's fine, sir. When the Manila customer service rep learned I wanted to cancel my account, he directed me elsewhere. Okay, I'm Morris. How are you doing today? Fine. Where are you located? I'm located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Well, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I just talked to somebody in Manila. Bottom line, XM convinced me not to cancel my subscription by offering a couple of months free. AOL has become famous for not letting subscribers leave. They try to con you into staying longer or not canceling. Is it no wonder then that Americans aren't happy with customer service? Companies are not praised as much for services as they used to be. So what can you do about it? Call and complain? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding your account. And I'm Morris Jones in Washington. You know about essential government workers, police, fire, EMTs. But what about the ones who aren't required to be on the job when there's a major storm? Many federal workers were allowed to leave early on Tuesday and didn't have to show up on Wednesday. 
Lawmakers did show up for work at the Capitol, House members debating the Iraq troop surge. But another hearing on global warming was canceled because of the ice storm. The winter storm was severe enough to hit a nerve with the Office of Personnel Management. They get upset when some workers are called non-essential. A good part of federal workers don't have to show up today. Do you think that's, that's fair? Because you're working. Uh, well, it, it is dangerous out there on the road, and uh, you know whatever helps the, the welfare and well-being of our employees is the best thing. Do you work for the federal government? I do, sir. So you're an essential worker? I would like to think so. But they're all essential in their own way. But you're working today. I'm working today. All right, good luck to you. Thanks. You're working today. Yeah, well, hey, somebody's and got also, to. happy Valentine's Day. And you too. Okay, Thank and you, you too. Despite the icy weather, there are warm hearts here in Washington. I'm Morris Jones reporting. Demonstrators bringing in their own storm to the national headquarters of NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They want two government officials to resign for denying research suggesting global warming is causing more intense hurricanes. Conrad Lautenbacher, who's the director of NOAA, refuses to admit this. He testifies before Congress. He says there's no connection. While these demonstrators say their minds are made up about the link between global warming and stronger hurricanes, other experts say not so fast. They want to blame everything bad that happens now on global warming. We were the first to tell you about SendBrick.com exactly a month ago. Kirsten Heffron starting a grassroots protest movement encouraging Americans to mail bricks to their elected officials in Washington. Build a border wall or do something about the illegal immigrant problem. They think in large degree, you know, they got the message, they heard us. So after a month-long campaign, senators got the message and got these bricks in the mail, 2,000 of them. We're going to start sending bricks to their district offices while they're on recess. And the message is getting through to Congress that the public won't be stonewalled on illegal immigration.